What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is another PETA Plays episode. I'm gonna call this a PETA Plays because, you know, why the heck not? Um, but we're back with another video, another game. Um, as usual, I like to say, I'm expanding content on my channel, so we're playing different types of games as you noticed. It's very gradual, but it'll, we'll get somewhere. Um, but we're playing a game called This War of Mine. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys aren't really familiar with this. If you are, then, you know, you're, you're in for a ride. But um, if you if you aren't familiar with this game, it is a survival game where you are trying to you know make it through like harsh winters and um, pretty much collect medicine, food, try to build things that will keep you you know alive during this time, which is during a war. This this game takes place during a war where things are quite crazy and of course uh, the city isn't too well. So we're going to be doing a lot of sneaking around we're going to be doing a lot of stealing if necessary i mean if there's no other choice if we have to resort to that then we will um, just to keep ourselves alive so we're going to be pr we're probably going to be making a lot of tough decisions because there's lots of scenarios where you can end up you know messing things up by just one little decision such as you know someone's going to go through to your door and ask you for help should you trust them that's one scenario so We'll see here. Um, I'm gonna write my own story because I I don't want to. Yeah, I'm just gonna write my own story because it's more fun that way. And uh, we have an interesting list here to um, some people to choose. So we can choose up to four people. I think I don't know if it's a max a minimum of four people or maximum, but um, I'm gonna do four people just you know just why not? So we're gonna choose Pavle or Pavel. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name name right. So. Excuse me for butchering names. Um, so he's a really good runner, and uh, I think he'll be good for scavenging if we have to go get some items from different type, from other cities. Well, not cities, but different places. I'm filming this late, so it's going to be a great thing. Um, I also added in my own characters as well. So I have Pita, Morgan, and Kelly. Morgan and Kelly happen to be you know, some friends, so I decided why not add them. Um, this game does, you know, have the feature of adding in your own pictures and uh, customizing your character a little bit. Not too much on that. So, going to be doing that. So now we have four people chosen. So, I think the more people, like, it'll be a, a little bit difficult, but whatever. Alright, so, days until ceasefire, I'm going to do with uh, 20 days because I don't want this series, I guess, to be quite long. Um, the intensity of the conflict, I'll do low. It's kind of like my first playthrough still, but I've read a lot about it, so I have some type of knowledge about it. I might be a really big big noob though, so please excuse that. Winter Harshness, I'll do my... I'm just going to take it a little bit easy, this, this playthrough. If I happen to play another one, I'll probably do more difficult, so if you're calling me a wuss, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to take it easy. Alright, city map. So I've already selected a city... Well, I selected all my cities. First glance, let's load that. Um, we have the decrepit squats, small apartment building, abandoned cottage, supermarket, ruined block of flats, looted a gas station, and a military outpost. So I'm obviously going to take a few risks here and there because certain places are high risk, high reward, right? And we're going to go ahead and uh, I believe since we've got everything chosen, let's go ahead and start my story. Okay, loading. But yeah, it's all about survi survival. Day one. We have to make it to day 20 without uh, too many problems. I'm sure I'm going to get somebody killed at least once, you know. So don't be surprised. F the war! That's right, F the war. As you can see, this is a pretty messed up building. Got like freaking holes. It's not even safe to be living here, I'm assuming. Because people can easily just jump in or something like that and uh, raid us, which will happen because we have to go out at night to scavenge for things and people, throughout that time, people are probably going to raid us as well, so yeah. War has been raging for countless months and the besieged city has been reduced to a sea of ruins by constant shelling. Going outside during daylight is like inviting snipers to target practice. Everything is in short supply and what little aid reaches the city is seized by the most ruthless and best armed, of course. 
Few residents were lucky enough to flee. The unlucky ones who missed the, the last refugee convoy are left to fend for themselves. Ordinary people huddling in the ruins, relying only on each other to survive. So here are the four people we're going to be playing with. We got Pavle, or Pavel, sorry once again if I'm butchering it. We got me, Pita, and then we got Morgan and Kelly. Of course, I asked for permission of these, my friends, you know, using their faces before I started. So, of course, they're going to be watching probably. All right, so um, I wish you could pause this game, but uh, we just have to go ahead and get down to business. Uh, so let's go ahead and scavenge for some stuff because we just, I, I believe, arrived here. So we'll need to um, look for some items, for some supplies. So I'm going to have Morgan look for some supplies in that little pile there. Kelly looked for some in there. And we found some, what is this, components. We got parts, wood, and electric parts. So let's just grab all of that. And then next, we got Kelly looking for stuff. And we got some more components, uh, more wood, and ele more electric parts. Great. That lovely. And Pavle seems to have, um, well, there's nothing in here. Let's see, Morgan, go look through that. Well, actually, you have to get through this first. Kelly, go look, um, go look up here, I guess. What am I doing? Am I sitting down? Oh, yeah, I'm sitting down. All right. Let's see. Oh, is this unlocked? Okay, let's go through there. See what's over here. Pavle? Pavle, Pavo? Go look through here and there. Actually... Just look through there first. Let's see how they're doing. Is this locked? No. Oh, gun parts, weapon parts. Uh, eh, it's not. It's not the best. Whatever though. Whatever. I need something to open this lock. Oh, this is this is locked, and this is locked too. Gosh dang it! We need like lock picks or something. All right, let's check out here. All right, Kelly, what can we do with you? Let's see, 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 see. Oh yeah, I'm gonna introduce our characters here. So Kelly is strong-willed. Um, Morgan. Okay, hold on. Same stuff we've been getting a lot. Uh, Morgan is a keen eye for detail, so that could be handy. Um, I'm a knack for electronics, and Pavle is a fast runner, as I kind of mentioned. Alright, let's try to break through here and look through there. Alright, ooh. Oh, actually, I was looking at our things and was assuming that was what we found, but that's not the case, man. Dang, we're not doing too well on supplies. I mean, we found a few good things, but could use better, right? Alright, let's go through here. You can go through that. Pita, look for some stuff, man. Myself. Gosh dang it, why is it all the same stuff? I don't like that. We better stay inside during daylight. Of course we should. Oh yeah, I forgot there's extra... Oh, never mind. Okay. Alright, I thought there was like a treehouse back there. Oh wait, did you check this yet? No, you didn't check that, Morgan. Let's go check it. Please be food. Oh, dang it. Yeah. No food. That's not good. I'm hoping I'm not missing any other place. I know this is locked. We're working through that. Let's see if we can make any things. Like, make any items. If you double click it, they're going to run there too. So I'm just going to have Kelly go sit there. I mean, that's quite accurate of her in real life anyway. She just sits. I'm just kidding. Um, Alright, so the first thing we need to make... I'm actually... Yeah, I'm really new to this, so I don't know if we should, uh, moonshine still. I don't think we should make any moonshine. Crude, crude stove, metal workshop, rainwater collector. I think that'd be pretty useful. I think that's something that's required. We also need a bed, too. That could be, we definitely need a bed. So, simple heater. I mean, it is pretty cold. Let's make that. We should make a, a heater. And we'll put it, like... Um, let's put it down here. Just place it there. And then Morgan is gonna go work on that. She's gonna build it. 
just have Kelly just sit around here for a little bit. Um, I don't think uh, more than one person can work on these things here, so that's kind of inconvenience. I know you can like get a shovel or something and work through it a little bit faster, but fortunately we don't have a shovel. Maybe we'll find one later on. Yeah, I know you're you're cold. We're, we're working on a heater right now. Morgan's got that. Let's see. I'm really hoping I'm not missing missing anything else. It is currently 55 degrees Fahrenheit right now, so that's not too cold. I mean, that's like how cold it is in my house right now. Okay, so we need to. We don't have any fuel right now, so we're probably gonna have to make some fuel here. Actually, let's check out to see what else we need to make before. Um, yeah. All right, so we got one through one pile of that, which is left. Work on the other one. All right, so we still have enough to make a bed. How much is it to make a fuel? One out of nineteen. Okay. Let's make. I don't want to do too much. Let's just make one of these, and then we'll stock up. Put in the heater. Hopefully, I'm doing things right. I'm gonna learn, of course. I'm gonna learn. All right, so we got one right there. I think the heater is going on, so don't have to worry too much about it. All right, let's try to make a bed now. Let's put a bed right next to it. I think it'd be nice. And we're coming a bit close to the end of the day, so we're gonna have to go out at night and do stuff. I hear an airplane or something. Um, offers decent sleep without back pain, no matter if it's night or day. Let's make one of these, and we'll put it right next to the fire, cause why not? So hurry up and go work on that. Yep, we're coming very close, very close to the end of the day. Sucks how you can only do it like 7 p.m., but I, I can understand. Alright, it seems like, uh, well, I'll talk about that a little bit later here. Is it 8 p.m. is when it ends? Yeah, the nights. Here we go. Alright, so here is our first ever uh, plan for the nights. So I'm going to have Pavle, or Pavel. I'm sorry, you guys should help me out on that pronunciation if you do know about it. Uh, but he's going to go scavenging because he's a very fast runner and we like to get things done quickly, so might as well. And we all have the same storage space, so it doesn't really matter, I guess, who goes out. But probably would be a, a bit better. Um, I'm going to let... Uh, I guess I'm going to guard for the night, and I'm going to let Morgan and Kelly sleep. So I'll be on guard for today. We'll probably just alternate. Um, someone else is going to guard, I guess. So let's see. Now we need to go to... Where are we going to go? All right, let's check out the abandoned cottage. A family barricaded themselves in this house, but despite their efforts, looters got inside. It's been abandoned ever since. Still, we might find some useful things that the looters overlooked or left behind. So there could be a chance that there are people here, but I don't know if we want to risk that right now. Um, th there's lots of food, huge amounts of materials, some meds, lots of weapons, and lots of parts. But let's check out the ruined block, uh, ruined block flats. This block of flats has seen some heavy fighting most people have fled the area before the Visemi, Visemi rebels clash there with the military. The battle is now over now, but there should be many things left left to scavenge. Sorry, the text for me is kind of small from the way I'm playing it. It might be bigger for you guys, but it's kind of small for me. So, Because people were leaving in a rush. Alright, so there's lots of food here, which we will probably need. Huge amounts of materials. We're going to probably need that too. Some meds, huge amounts of weapons, and lots of parts. So this seems to be abandoned. So we're going to go there. Just going to double check here. Yep. All right. And we're going to we're not going to take anything with us cuz we don't have anything useful besides parts and stuff. So Yep, let's go scavenging. Our first scavenge. Zix sighting. So empty and quiet here. It gives me the creeps. I agree. It is quite creepy. All right. So this is the place we are looting or about to loot. Um but yeah, here's uh, some more scenery for you guys. I'm going to scavenge this here. Alright, we found some more parts, some components, uh, and wood. Let's grab those, I guess. Alright, let's go up here. Quietly, just uh, 
I don't know. Oh wait, there's a med supply up here. Should we go up here? Don't know how to reach that place. Okay, scavenge this first. We'll go up the stairs if we can. Some more parts. Uh, I guess we can grab those. What's this? Magnifying glass. Alright, so that's our ray of vision, I believe. The baby carriage isn't empty. A few objects lie scattered inside. A rattle, a smiling red crab, well worn by baby teeth. A feeding bottle, half full of congealed mass that was probably a baby formula. Someone must have left in a terrible rush, or maybe didn't need them anymore. That's sad. Alright, let's check this here. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff here. Alright, so, wait, I didn't mean to take that. So there's coffee beans, um, some fertilizer. We got some quality roll-ups, some weapon parts, I'll take that. Parts, I guess we'll use that. A book. We'll take those too. I'll leave the... I didn't mean to take that. Should I take it quality roll-up? We'll see. We'll see. We'll come back to it later. All right, let's check to see what's in here. Nothing. All right. Let's open it. I don't think there's anybody here, so it is kind of abandoned. So that's pretty nice. Ooh, raw food. Yeah. And we got shell casings. Uh, I'll just get rid of the book. We'll take this. And some more components, some more wood. Got enough wood, I guess. What should I put away? Parts. You know what? We'll we'll throw the the parts away. We'll just take more wood because we could use that for fuel and um, you know a heater for the heaters. Electric parts. If you want, your, yeah. I don't think we'll need a, really not a whole lot of electric parts for now. Alright, we'll just leave this here. We'll come back for all of it later. Let's check to see what else is here. Just in case. Could be more food for us. Take some more uh, weapon parts. Alright. Cool. We'll come back for those. Let's go upstairs. Oh, why are you running? Oh, hopefully nobody's around. Okay, nobody's around. What's here? Ooh, vegetables. Ooh, vegetables. Hmm. Get rid of the coffee. Uh, um, ooh, ammunition. Should we take that? I think we should take that. Uh, do we need fertilizer? Nah, not right now. I don't think we do. Yeah, let's just put the fertilizer away for now. I think that... You know what? Let's just keep it. I really don't know what to do here. Alright, okay. Lots of good stuff, though, I think. Alright, so let's check out the medicine cabinet. We probably need some medicine. I won't breach this grate without a saw blade. Dang it! Freaking barriers. Ugh. We need the medicine. Okay, more food. Awesome. Just taking stuff. Okay. Next. And I think this needs a saw blade too, right? Yeah. Alright, let's just go ahead and get out of here. Let's run to the exit. Because I don't think there's any other place for us to raid. So, we'll come back another time to get the rest of the things that we need. But I guess, overall, it was a pretty good uh, raid. Really good scavenge. It was good. Day two. Oh my god, guys, we survived day one. We didn't die day one. There might be some problems, though. I don't know. Hello, look at all this stuff. I wish I wish I could bring so much every night. You, you will. You will. He had been searching for supplies and brought some interesting things. So we got some more food, uh, some more components and wood and all that. So pretty, uh, I guess, a successful scavenge for today. All right, so... I think we're all hungry and tired. Kelly slept poorly. 
Um, did Morgan sleep poorly too? Yeah. We didn't even finish the bed, that's probably why we didn't, we slept quite poorly. So once we finish this bed, we can probably make another one and they could like, you know, take a little nap here. People get nervous and suspicious, better not provoke them. Of course not. Alright, let's check to see what else we can make. Morgan, you can, uh, you can rest up a little bit. You're not tired, okay. Fine. Fine. Just because they slept poorly doesn't mean that they need to sleep at all, you know? Okay, what else should we make? I think rainwater collector is quite important, so we're definitely going to have to work towards this next. Um, we need some more... What do we need? Can we make it now? Are... Wait, we need... Oh, we need more wood uh, components. Okay, good thing that place has a lot of components. We'll probably... Yeah. Should we make another bed? You know what? Let's make another bed. Yeah, we'll make some beds. Put another one right here. Let's go work on that. Morgan can do that. And I think we're going to make some fuel too for, for this here. Hopefully it's enough. I don't, it's not really enough, I guess. And then I'm probably just going to get some food. I think Kelly needs some food too know if it's a good idea but you know just do it just in case not very filling but it's food I think we can go on for a little bit without some food so we'll do that the snipers can still be around all right so I think that will be the end for now if you guys enjoyed the video why not give it a thumbs up and if you want to continue watching this series Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It is completely free and you'll be notified of when I upload. Thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch today's episode of Peter, you know, the PETA plays of this war of mine. I'll see you guys in the next upcoming videos. So stay tuned. It's awesome. I love you all. 